Hello boys and girls, I'm going to try to make this video, I think this is the third time I'm trying on Google Drawings, um, had a couple little problems uh, along the way, uh, my last one was good, but I try to keep my videos under 10 minutes and I went over to 14, which I don't like to do because that's kind of my general rule of my um, site is to keep everything under 10 minutes because uh, that's about as much uh, attention that I can get out of you guys, so I don't want to bore anyone. So let's go into Google Drawings. We're going to go to New in our Drive, down to More, and to Google Drawings. All right. So I'm going to keep this uh, pretty simple, but um, just a couple ideas. I'm going to make a logo. I came up with a made-up name of a gaming company or maybe a gaming group or whatever you want to call it called Epic Land Gamers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to uh, my shape. I'm going to pick the um, shape that is the rounded um, rectangle, this one, and I'm just going to click and drag and kind of make it uh, just like that right there, okay? Now, um, to make another shape exactly the same uh, is this one. I'm going to click on it so it's tagged. That means it's the active shape I'm working with. I'm going to use the shortcut key of Control c to copy, and then I'm going to hit the, the uh, Paste uh, shortcut which is control V and you can see I've got an ad, another shape exactly like this. When I bring this down you notice that red arrow tells me that I'm aligned with the one above so that's what I want to go with right there. I'm going to let it go and now I've got two rectangles. Pretty simple so far. Alright, I'm going to um, now go into my uh, insert pull down. I'm going to go to word art and I've got my cap locks on and I'm going to put the first um, part of my name which is epic land and I just kind of uh, made that word up. It may be used somewhere else. I don't know. I just uh, came up with it. So I'm going to bring that up into my first uh, rectangle and make it aligned uh, horizontally, uh, or actually, yeah, up and down vertically, and then um, get it centered, which is going to be right. Yeah, when I get both those red lines, I'm, I'm centered. Actually, I'm centered, but I'm larger than my rectangle, so I need to do something about that. I'm going to size that down. And a little bit bigger. Let's see here. Okay, now do they see the red line? So it tells me I'm the line there. Okay, like that. Okay. All right, and then in the bottom uh, here, I'm going to do insert word art here, and it's going to be uh, gamers, which I am spelling uh, misspelling with a Z uh, intentionally. Okay, and I'm going to bring that down, and that one is, let's see, right there. Okay. So I didn't have to size this one down. I'm going to go ahead and keep this larger just because it fits and it's okay. All right, so now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to look at doing some editing. Now, the one thing I want to say is uh, Microsoft Paint, which we used uh, before, um, is not really the same as this or this isn't the same as, uh, as Paint. There's a, th there are some similarities, but there are many, uh, many more differences. So the one good thing about well, really, two main really advantages to using Google Drawings. One, of course, is the fact that it's going to save automatically into your cloud, into your drive, where you can access it anywhere you have internet access, and you get into your account, which is always a, a good thing. Um, but the other thing is, every object I put in here is going to be editable, meaning I can go in and change it later on if I want to, whereas in um, MS Paint, uh, that's not really uh, is easy. You, I guess you could go over something or whatever, but... Uh, it doesn't really work that way. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick my uh, object, which is the rectangle. I'm going to pick a color. So I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to do these kind of uh, sort of inverse as far as the rectangles go. Top one is going to be a red rectangle with a yellow uh, border. And I'm going to make the border thickness uh, 8, okay, which makes a nice thick outline around there. On the Gamers one, I'm going to do the inverse, the opposite, which means I'm going to go with a yellow uh, body of the box and a red outline, and again, down to eight. So I've got kind of a inverse uh, color scheme going on there, okay? Now, I'm going to pick the um, first one, Epic Land. I'm going to change the font to uh, Righteous here. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to do this in a couple of layers, so... Um, I'm going to do, uh, I think yellow is going to be my first one. I'm not going to have a border. I'm just going to keep it transparent, like so. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. Again, I'm going to use Control-C to copy and Control-V to paste. 
All right. Now, this one I'm going to change the color to, I'm going to go with this blue. Let's see how that looks. Actually, I think I'm going to go to black. I think that might be a better choice. All right. Now, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to put the order. Uh, I'm going to send it backwards one. I'm going to have to do it again. Um, sometimes the uh, layers are kind of funny. So, there it goes. All right, you can see I have like a kind of a shadow effect going on there. Now, I haven't even moved it, you know, it's just that's kind of the way it came out. And I'm going to click it again. I'm, uh, actually, I don't have to click it again because I already have it. On the clipboard is my original copy, so I have to just do Control-V to paste, and there it is. And I'm going to send that one backward. Now, when I go to Order, notice how it has the shortcut here. It's Control plus the down arrow. So, so another way to do this is when I click this, I can hold Control and down arrow. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times, so this is a little bit better choice. And I'm going to go until I get below the black. See how I got below the black there? And uh, that looks kind of a little bit, um, probably not easy to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that layer and I'm going to see if I can bring it, move it. So it's not so, uh, you don't want to make it too obnoxious where it's hard to read. But you do, we're trying to give it some depth. There's a whole idea here. So, um, what I might do is bring this one. So this is a little bit uh, going to require a little bit of patience, but you can see because sometimes you're grabbing an object you think you're grabbing and you're not. Um, those are three layers. Those are three independent layers, and and as I click, sometimes it's not always easy to realize which which one of those I'm clicking. You know, which makes it a little bit a little bit of a challenge. But I think that's pretty good, okay? And uh, of course, you could still read. You don't want to make it too crazy where you, you're straining your eyes to try to see what does that say. Um, and this is probably right on the edge of easy to read and not easy to read. It's it's almost uh, a little too much. But I'm going to go with it just for the video. Uh, so now on gamers, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, of course, the original, um, the top layer is going to be in red. And that's that. And my font, again, is going to be the righteous. And my... Um, Outline border is going to be transparent, meaning there's none. And um, again, I'm going to control C to copy that. I'm going to control V to paste. And I'm going to change that backer layer to black. And I'm going to do my control down arrow to put it behind. Okay. Now is a good time to probably, uh, that's just where it ended up placing when I did the paste. Paste always shifts a little bit. But I'm going to go a little bit, um, I might just, let's see, let's see if I drop that straight down. It's a little bit too much, so you got, you got to get it to where it actually has a decent look to it. And you could shift it right or left if you want, but sometimes that makes it a little confused. So if I would go right in line and then just down a little bit, I think that's not bad. You know, and maybe even on this top one, maybe that last final layer was just a little too much. Maybe just two is better, and then I could drop that one down a little bit. So it's going to be trial and error to see what you like, you know. But again, if I later say, ah, you know, I'd like to change that, I can do something. So there you go. I mean, that's not anything major. You could add some objects to that. What could we add to this? Maybe I could add a, they have, a, yeah, here's a lightning bolt. Let's do a lightning bolt. That might be kind of cool. Let me see if I can put a lightning bolt. How is this going to work here? Let's see. We get a lightning bolt. Okay, I'm going to put it right over the top here. All right, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make this transparent so that we can see through it. But the outline, um, I'm going to make a, let's see, what do I want to make that? I, I can't make it any, it's got to be contrast with everything there. So in other words, not red, not yellow, not black, something else that would be uh, cool. I mean, black I could do, but where I have black, it will... And there's not much black. I could probably get away with doing black. Let me see. I want to make the um, a little bit thicker. Not not too thick. Let me click away so we can see what that looks like. You know, we don't want to take away from our actual um, logo. But let's try. Well, let's try four. See if that's too thick. It's not bad. I mean, I don't know. You, you probably could work with that some. Remember, we can rotate this if we want to. And that might be a, that might be actually a good choice just to make it like that. All right. Um, yeah, I, I'll be honest. I don't know if I like that, 
but um, I'm going to take it away. You could do it if you want, but I'm just uh, not, not real happy with that. So th we could add more to this, but I, I'm just about over my 10 minute or just at my 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm going to stop it there. But boys and girls, just keep working with it. Um, you could do some really cool logos. If you want to do your, a personal avatar, you can definitely use this for that and make some cool things. And like you can always go back and edit later today or later next week or next month. If I want to open this file, it's in my drive. I can open this file. I can work with it some more, tweak it a little bit. Maybe I get extra ideas. I can add something to it, you know. But I think with logos, um, simple is better, or I like to say uh, less is more, you know. You don't want to go over the top too much. It gets too cluttered and too crazy, and uh, it's just not something that people want to see. So there you go. And uh, boys and girls, keep working. I'm going to try to get another video out today. This is uh, November 1st today, and um, I have 99 subscribers on my channel. I just looked, so my next subscriber will become my 100th. Uh, YouTube subscriber, which is cool. So, all right, there you go, guys. Enjoy. Keep working at it.